I start every creative writing workshop by placing a desk in the middle of the room and asking students to write as many uses for it as possible. I get answers like a platform to write on or a fort to crawl inside of, but not once has anyone ever said a barricade to protect myself from bullets. If they did, I would tell them a single round from an AR-15 has enough inertia to splinter that wooden school desk to shreds, puncture the piece of gum stuck to the bottom by the star athlete studying for a test to prove his varsity jacket isn't the only mold he's meant to fit into, shatter the spot on the tabletop where a girl sharpied her first name with the last name of the person she's just hoping will notice her in the halls not knowing later that day a gunman will enter those halls. Do you know he went to school here? He sat on that same desk, scribbling inside textbooks we haven't replaced in 10 years, scribbling sketches of himself setting the school on fire that all of us decided to ignore. How did we ignore? The one time he came to us asking for help from the bullies before he started running a patali of all the lunch money they've ever stolen, vowing to one day make everyone pay it back with their lives. A news channel will say it's a mental health issue. Another will say it's gun control. But not once have we made ourselves the center of those headlines, replaced the officer's name with our own, knowing we are armed with the tools to protect our children and none of us chose to go inside. We heard those shots since Columbine. We heard it since Sandy Hook. We still hear it in inner city schools. We've gone so deaf from the ringing. We can't hear our children try to tell us. It's the trigger that causes terrors in their sleep. Wakes the ghost they'll see anytime anyone says guns don't kill people. It's the trigger that makes them jump in their seats. Anytime they hear the click of a person's pen next to them. PTSD is not the acronym of a college aptitude test I expected them to be taking. Sitting in a classroom shouldn't feel like laying in an open casket after you've survived. Knowing a bullet doesn't have to be fired in our direction for it to kill us. It just has to be fired directly into our lives. I check in on my son at night. And every time he pretends to be sleeping. And as much as I want to call him out for that lie, I realize it's a skill that might one day come in handy. Just the other day my friend sends me a link to where I can buy an armored backpack. The pockets are lined with Kevlar and metal. How much more weight are we placing on these kids' shoulders? Had you asked me as a child what I knew of active shooter drills, I would have thought it had something to do with basketball. Had you asked me what I thought was locked in my teacher's drawers, I would have said it's the answers to next week's test. I would have never guessed a pistol. I don't have a cheat sheet for how to solve this. I just know we are arming our teachers with the wrong weapons. How horrible it must be to have to rifle through the bullet points of their job descriptions, seeing it's now full of loopholes the gunman shot through how tragic to have to choose between the barrel or the shield as they press their entire bodies to barricade the door and protect everyone inside at Stoneman Douglas they said after the SWAT team secured the area the students continued to hide because when the gunman first came he was dressed in full police armor yelling it's safe to come out now as he fired round after round at those that believed him tell me that's not what we are leaving our children to believe in tell me that the current shape of our gun loving country hasn't gone sideways looking like a hand with his fingers curled around the handgun tell me they can run freely through the halls again without having flashbacks of weaving around the bodies of their fallen and friends tell me their chance of never again will finally become chance of hasn't been since tell me when I instruct them to write out as many uses for a desk as possible I won't have to explain desks are not bulletproof I'm sorry it's something you had to learn in the first place but I hope one day we'll get it right and you'll believe us again when we say you are safe you are safe you are safe our dear children you can come out now you are safe